Now across the county, our local law enforcement will be patrolling beaches, parks, city streets, cracking down on those ignoring public safety measures. Ten News reporter Marie Cornell live at Seaport Village this morning. Marie, the county says they will now hand out citations. Yeah, Virginia, so the warnings have been given and now law enforcement will begin enforcing those rules to keep people from gathering in public places like here at Seaport Village. The governor didn't put out an executive recommendation. Uh, Dr. Wooten didn't put out a public health recommendation to be followed when it's convenient. These are orders and we're reaching a critical time in our in our county's uh, uh, public health uh, uh, history right now and I think the days of trying to get voluntary compliance and 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 uh, are, are really over. So uh, the, the message is going to go out to all of public safety here in the county that we will start issuing citations for violation of the public order. Now to help with that, the city of San Diego has already shut down their beaches and the city says anyone caught at these locations will be fined up to $1,000. However, state beaches like Carlsbad, Torrey Pines and Silver Strand State Beach, they are still open, though parking lots have been closed at those locations to keep people from gathering there. Uh, law enforcement will also be cracking down on the non-essential businesses that are still open. We're live from Seaport Village this morning, Marie Cornell. 10 news. Beautiful lights behind you. Thank you, Marie.